Good morning. I'm Jeannie Snedeker. I'm the director of Christian Education, and I'd like to invite our children forward. I see a few running from upstairs. Hey, Wyatt. Come on up. How are you? You can come closer. That is me. You're right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's not very flattering, though. <laughs> Hi, girls. How are you? We get everybody? It's a little quiet Sunday for us, huh? Well, how are you today? I have a question to ask you. Does anybody speak a different language besides English here? No? Me. You do? What language do you speak, Wyatt? All the words, that's wonderful. Well, I think being bilingual, meaning that you know more than one language, is an amazing skill. And my daughter-in-law is also, she speaks Spanish. She's from Costa Rica and speaks beautiful Spanish. She speaks beautiful English, too. But I think that's an amazing skill. You know some words in Greek. Wow, that's incredible. Well, I want to tell you today, boys and girls, it's Pentecost. We're all wearing red to celebrate the Holy Spirit among us. And, and we are going to talk today in Sunday school about the very first Pentecost. The Bible tells us that Jesus, when he's getting ready to go to heaven to be with God after Easter, Jesus promises that God's spirit will live among us always. And so that was true then, it's true now. And so when the, the Holy Spirit appeared to those disciples, those followers, it was like a mighty wind and flames of fire. So really awesome, big, amazing stuff. And then all of a sudden, they could speak in languages that they didn't think they knew. And they spoke the word of God in these other languages so that everyone around could understand it's sort of like in a science fiction movie where everybody's from a different planet, but yet somehow they can all understand each other. That's pretty amazing, right? Well, we don't need to have some sort of science fiction universal translator to understand God. God speaks to each one of us in a way that we understand. I was singing there, yeah. Because singing is so fun. Yes, and well, we can sing later. Um, I don't remember where I was, but God speaks to us in all kinds of different languages, right? Right where we are. And so God speaks to me in a way I understand. God speaks to you and to all these people, but God also speaks to people in Australia and in Africa, in South America and in Asia, all over the world. God understands each and every one of us and loves each and every one of us. Well, even if we don't speak, conversationally speak a different language, we do speak God's language of love. Each one of us is equipped to speak. Uh, it's open. Yes, come over here really close. God has equipped us to be loving and kind to one another, right? And that's a very special kind of language. So boys and girls, every time you share kindness, every time you take care of someone who's sad or sick, and I'm going to say, even more importantly, when you extend that love to people you don't know or people who might seem different than you or speak a different language or, or, or understand the world in a different way, then you are sharing God's language of love. And it seems like we have to do really big things for that language to matter. But that, you know what the really big things are? They're the small things. They're the small gestures of kindness and the ongoing every day we love one another. That is what God calls us to do and that is how we speak God's language of love. Okay? So we're going to go to Sunday school here in just a moment. But let's say a prayer. Holy One, speak your love into our lives today. Meet us right where we are and equip us to share that love with everyone in the world. Amen. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 